this is YouTube Joseph WM. Just a quick disclaimer before we begin. Uh, I um, know I said I would start making videos tomorrow on first day, but I just really couldn't wait. Anyway, this is Walking with Earthlings Ch Chipman Civilization. Maybe we can just sorry, let's begin. Oh, hello again, I'm Mr. Tupo. Here I am. This is, um, um, for, first we start today. So we're two million years in the future. And here is, um, half a million years after the fall of the, the human civilization on the, of the human civilization from the last video. So, um, now in this time... We meet chimp. We meet this, ch the first chimp, chimp, in the rainforest of Africa, called chimp. I mean, panagaster, which are about four to five feet tall. I'm not sure, or how much. That is in metric, sorry, way about 50 to 100 pounds. Sorry, I'm not sure how much that is in metric. And then they evolve into about six, 650,000 years later, Pan Heidelpergensis appears. No, not this one, sorry. No, I meant this was Panner. This is, um... No, this is Panner. Or... A gastro. This is Panheidopergensis. And Panheidopergensis is... Four and a half to five feet tall. Weighs about... 120 to 140 pounds. And then finally we pan. And finally pan them. Um, sorry, just ignore that. Pan sapiens appear. Here are these chipmen. These, all three of these species are chipmen. This one's like five to six and a half feet tall and weigh like. And weigh like uh, 155 to 250 pounds on average. They they start after they pass through the Stone Age. Though they already invented fire, then they and then agriculture on the Stone Age. So they domesticated. A chimp, a hyena descendant called Baroninas, Varinas, and then, um, and then there's, um, they, um, They explain the transformation of hyenas into a domesticated species. Hyena Varanus is their scientific name. They're the chimp men's best friend, just like dogs were man's best friend. Oh, here's Mr. Tupa. And then next we see, uh, um, and they also start around this time. So they domesticate um chick feral chickens into chickens scientifically knows Gallus Gallus domestica the 
Veronina's, I mean, uh, no, oh, these are Veronina's, I, I meant. And then chickens, um, showcase the domestication of feral chickens into chickens proving their role in disgust. They're, they're used as food, um, by the chipmen and the antelope, antelope, um, as, oh, here, um, are, are used like cattle. They're descendants of humans that are non-sentient. They serve this. They're because which I'll make a whole future series about someday. And then also, um, they, they, they provide both meat and milk. Um, they, they lack sentience. And oh yeah, another thing: these chipmen have evolved, like convergently evolved, like humans, the ability to drink. To drink um, milk after ch childhood, after infancy, and then um, eventually um, humans move these animals. They continue to farm them. Eventually, cities grow them. Um, they build. Event oh, I mean the ch the chimp. Permits, which are their cities where they farm and live in at the same time. They um they're here there's. We have a the chipman horse Equus Pan. A dis, domest, descendant of feral horses. Of they that were redomesticated by the chipmen. They're. Important in transportation and agriculture and as work animals. Pack an I mean, it's pack animals and work animals and also for culture and as pets. Well, the chickens, they also, they, they use them for their meat, feathers, and eggs. Both the, 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 Yeah, for the antol antitolo, and the, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, and the human descendant, and the um, chipman horse, they, you, they use them, um, we, as, they use for their waste for fertilizer. Then, um, so here's a city. Oh, here's the amp the antitol in case I didn't show it, I think I did. No, oh, here's their chimp minta ninta I meant. The chimper mintas. Anyway, um that's I uh, eventually the chimp the chipmans they build they become spacefaring and they oh by the way they this all everything I mentioned I mean the start of ag their agriculture to their chipment mintism um, happen like three and a half million years after people and in the future I mean three and a half million years in the future. And they become eventually become spacefaring, and leave Earth and colonize the moons of Jupiter. But that's a story for another time. Anyway, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, bye bye.